early 20th century patient used to suffer with a deadly disease which was causing weight loss emaciation coma and these patients used to die within span of days due to problem with the glucose metabolism doctors were helpless because no drug was invented by then so a orthopedic surgeon came up with an idea and he discovered the medicine the deadly disease was diabetes and the drug invented was insulin hey guys welcome back to another session on diabetes mellitus i am dr ravi in this session we will learn about history of insulin if you look at the history of insulin it is dated back in 1818 1889 Joseph von Mering and Oscar Minkowski they had a conversation on role of pancreas in digestion and absorption of the fat so at the very same day evening they had started the experiment so they removed the pancreas from the dog and Joseph von Mering left to his hometown and Oscar Minkowski was observing the dog and this pancreatectomized dog started exhibiting the symptoms of diabetes so he did the pancreatectomy in two and three more dogs and the, all the pancreatectomized dogs started exhibiting the symptoms of diabetes so he implanted some amount of pancreas in one of the pancreatectomized dog and this implanted dog did not exhibit any symptoms of diabetes so they came to a conclusion that there is a internal secreting substance which is from the pancreas which is related to the development of the diabetes so this paved a laying stone in discovery of insulin so several attempts were made to extract this pancreatic secreting substance but could not succeed in 1920 frederick banting a orthopedic surgeon he was reading an article about the pancreatic secreting substance so he had an idea of how to extract this pancreatic secreting substance he jotted down and went to university of toronto where he met with jj mcleod who was a professor and head of the department of physiology he briefed his idea to him jj mcleod was initially skeptical with the banting suggestion but reluctantly banting was provided with laboratory space few dogs and a research assistant Charles Best so Banting and Best they started their experiment eventually they were succeeded in extracting the pancreatic secreting substance called insulin but this was a impure insulin so James B Collip J B Collip he was a biochemist from the same university and he was expert in purifying the protein he joined the team and he purified the insulin so first injection was given to a 14 years old boy who was admitted in the university of toronto hospital immediately after 24 hours of insulin injection the blood glucose levels came down but it could not reduce the ketone bodies and the boy developed abscess at the site of injection so this implicated the insulin was not enoughly purified So JB Collip worked on it and eventually he was succeeded in insulin purification. So insulin had a significant impact and incredible effect on diabetic patients life. The patients who were emaciated, comatose and dying because of the disease, they started living their normal life. So it was a miracle in a modern medicine. So in 1923 Frederick Banting and JJ Mcleod was awarded with the Nobel Prize. Banting shared his Nobel Prize with the best and JJ Mcleod shared his Nobel Prize with the JB Collip. So several injections were needed to treat the diabetes because insulin is a short acting one. So to address this problem, HC Hegedron invented a substance which could prolong the insulin duration of action so the substance was protamine so what he did he added protamine insulin along with the zinc in a phosphate buffer at a neutral ph and he named it as neutral protamine hegadron otherwise also called as isofan insulin so up till the dna recombinant technology has emerged into the market the source of insulin was bovine and porcine insulin 
the only problem with the bovine and sourcea porcea and insulin was compatibility issues patient used to suffer the hypersensitivity reactions so we had started producing the insulin through the dna recombinant technology which is identical with the human insulin so with the treatment of insulin the life span of the diabetic patient had significantly improved so with this we had encountered a new challenge which is complications of the diabetes so to address the complications of the diabetes soon we had realized that strict glycemic control either it could uh, postpone or avoid the complication so how do we strictly do the glycemic control by giving the insulin regimen which mimics the physiological manner of insulin secretion from the pancreas up till now there is no insulin regimen which absolutely mimics the physiological manner of insulin secretion from the pancreas so what is the physiological secretion physiological manner of secretion from the pancreas so there is a basal insulin which will take care the fasting blood sugar levels and there would be post pandel insulin secretion which will take care the blood sugar levels after taking the food so if we give any insulin which has a peak plasma concentration as a basal insulin it is inevitable that we will land up into the complication called hypoglycemia which was which is a fatal one so sanger has sequenced the amino acid sequence of the insulin this allowed us to change the amino acid position or add some substance to the amino acid so that we can modify the pharmacokinetics of the insulin without compromising the efficacy of the insulin so here emerged the newer insulin preparations so in a subsequent lectures we will discuss about the physiology and pharmacology and insulin regimens so thank you for watching thanks a lot